Hello everyone, Professor Toybox here, along with Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, and we're back with our next episode of Toybox Tutorials. Today we're going to continue working on Mickey's first mission in my Fantasia toy box, which is to save the village over there from the brooms. And I'll come in here to spark mode and show you what we have so far that we've set up over the past few weeks. So we have a dynamic trigger in town connected to that locator over there. And when we approach the town, it's going to connect to this enemy wave generator and that friendly wave generator, which will put some brooms and five townspeople in the village. And the villagers will be trying to flee from the brooms. And then we've got this little townsperson over here hopping up and down to try to get your attention. And he's connected to another dynamic trigger over here and a text displayer. And when you approach him and get within range, that triggers the text displayer. And uh, he asks for your help in saving the villagers. And he tells you he needs you to deliver his friends to the base, uh, the safe zone, which is over here. And so Mickey will run into the village and find the townspeople and toss them into this area and thus save them from the brooms. But right now, there's nothing that tells you where the safe zone is, so that's a problem. Also, if you don't happen to notice this little guy jumping up and down, uh, you won't even know he's trying to get your attention. And that brings us to our topic for today, radar markers. We're going to look at how to use the radar marker to guide the player to the places we want them to go in our toy box. And so as we get started here, I'll come out over this way. And we'll come down to the Creativa Toys drawer to the radar marker. And I'll go ahead and drop one out here for right now. Come into Spark Mode and open the Logic menu for this. And there's several options under here. Uh, we'll go to Properties first. So under Properties we have Beacon Type. And there's a number of different types in here. There's four different ones for blue and there's four different ones for yellow. In the play sets, the yellow typically are used for the main quest, and the blue are usually used for side quests. And each of these displays a different symbol. So if we use the yellow marker, for example, and we can turn this on, uh, if we make this active, that turns it on, and as you can see, it displays it right now over this toy. So there's a number of different ones in here. We have the yellow question mark, we have a yellow arrow, and we have yellow ring, which is the arrow plus a ring of color around the location you're interested in. And same for the blue, which again is for your side quests. So you have all of those. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this to the yellow exclamation point, because that's usually what's used for a mission giver. And in a moment, I'm going to move this over and connect it to our uh, townsperson over there. And I'll turn that off for right now. Beacon visibility. There's two options, or three options under here, actually. There's world beacon, which means you'll see the exclamation point or the arrow out in your toy box, but not on your radar. Uh, radar indicator only means it'll show up on your radar in the lower left corner when we're playing but not out in the world. And then of course all is the default, which is normally what you would want. And beacon location by default is this toy, which is the radar marker creativa toy. But as you see, there's a whole bunch of uh, options here. You can have it display over a connected actor or a locator or all of the enemies that are in the toy box or a specific player or all players or whatever triggering player happened to turn this on. So there's a number of options that are available here. And we just looked at active. And there's another option here to display beacon on all enemies. And that seems kind of redundant to me with that option there. But I'm not quite sure what the difference is. They both seem to work the same way. Uh, so those are the options, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the other ones here in a moment, but let's move this over here to our mission giver. And we're going to go ahead and hook this up so you can kind of see a practical exercise of how to do this. So we've got our 
radar marker and I want to have it display over top of that little guy hopping up and down. So we'll come into the logic menu and we'll do a new actor connection. And you can use this to connect the radar marker to a townsperson or an enemy or anything that qualifies as an actor in the toy box. And so that'll be the connected actor. And then we can come back over here to the properties and I already have it set to the yellow exclamation point. I'll go ahead and make it active. And we want it to display not over this toy, but over our connected actor. Now you can see that moved the exclamation point over top of him and also put a little beacon up into the air, which makes it easy to find him when we come into the toy box and we're over here and we look around, that little marker uh, shows up and gets our attention. So that's a really good thing. So now when we approach him and talk to him, and he asks us for our help, and we accept the proposal from the text displayer, and say, yeah, we're going to help you out, we can come to our text displayer and do a new logic connection on proposal accepted, and we can come over to the radar marker and open the menu for that. And with the radar marker, you can use another toy to activate it or deactivate it. In this case, I want to deactivate it because if we've, if we've accepted his mission, we don't need uh, to see that marker over top of him anymore. He's not the point of interest. Something else is going to be. And so you can use that to uh, trigger this radar marker. And likewise, if we open the menu for this, under New Logic Connection on the Radar Marker, whenever this radar marker is activated or deactivated, you can use that trigger signal to connect to another toy to trigger something. So that's something to be aware of. So now we have our radar marker over top of him, and after we talk to him and accept his mission, that goes away. And now, we're going to set up another radar marker because the other problem we had was he asks us to deliver his friends to the base, but we don't know where the base is, the safe zone, and we actually want the safe zone to be over here. So we're going to drop a second radar marker over here, and I'll actually set that outside of town. I think that'll make it a little easier to work with. It won't be in the way. And this time, actually before we go into that, I want to connect this up to a locator because I don't have an actor inside that trigger area over there for the safe zone. So I need some way to indicate that that's the safe zone. I could just put this radar marker inside this safe zone, but uh, that's a little sloppy to me. Again, the radar marker and any of the Creativa toys don't really look like anything um, that would fit the theme here. They look a little too futuristic, so we'll use a locator. And we'll come into the radar marker, and this time, instead of an actor connection, we'll do a locator connection. And we'll connect this up to the locator. That's where we want the radar marker to show up. And if we come into the properties, this time the beacon type, I'm going to set this to be a yellow ring. I could just use the yellow arrow, but I don't use the ring very often, so we're going to use that. And beacon visibility all. I want this on the radar, and I want the player to see it when they're running through the village. The beacon location is going to be the locator that we just connected to. And I do not want this to be active initially. I don't want to turn this on until the player accepts the mission. So we'll turn this on with a logic connection in a moment. And I don't need this beacon to display on all the enemies because I'm trying to show where I want the player to deliver the townspeople. So there we go. So now we have our connection. And just so you can see what it looks like, we could turn this on momentarily. And that's what it's going to look like. So we'll turn that back off. Okay, so the radar marker is set up now for the base, the safety zone for the townspeople. So now we'll come back over here and we used the trigger off of the text displayer when we accepted the mission to turn off the radar marker over the townsperson here. 
we can use that exact same trigger to turn on the next radar marker back here because this is the next point of interest in this mission. And we'll use that to activate that radar marker. So now this guy is ready to go and when we accept his mission that will come off the radar and that will come on. And now we'll see what kind of difference that made to our mission as we wrap this up for the day. So I'm going to come out here and once again let's go ahead and save our game. Always a good idea. That way we have a point to come back to. All right, so we come into the toy box over here and there's a yellow exclamation point on the radar as you see in the lower left corner. And as we look around, oh, there it is. Let's go see what that's all about. So as we come over the bridge, we enter the village trigger area, which will start generating enemies and townspeople. And this little guy, we are close enough, he says, deliver friends to the base for extra loot. And we'll say continue. And now the radar marker has gone off of him. And you'll notice in the lower left corner, there's a new dot on the radar over there. And so as we enter the village, and we come back over here, you'll see that's the area of interest that we're wanting to bring the townspeople to. That ring I didn't realize was kind of going to be up in the air, so I might take that off and just use the yellow arrow. Whoops. <laughs> Somebody tried to get out of the town through the gate. So this mission's starting to look and work a lot smoother. We have a fully functioning mission giver with a radar marker that helps the player find him. He gives the player relatively clear instructions on what he needs him to do. And we have a second radar marker that tells the player where to deliver the townspeople. But we still have some more work to do because the player doesn't know how many townspeople they need to save or when they've saved the last one. And once they've saved the last one, we want to turn off this second radar marker and let the player know the mission's over. So we'll work on that next time as we examine the next creative toy we need, the counter. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed today's video or at least found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and remember to sign up on my blog or subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done that so that you don't miss the next episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.